Hey, what's going on everybody? How you doing? It's your boy DT here. It's Joe. And we are back at it again with another video reaction. And we are checking out George Carlin yep. for the first time. For the first time. Yeah. And uh, this was uh, recommended by one of you guys. This is Seven yeah. Dirty Words from George Carlin. Mm -hmm. I know about George Carlin a little. I know he's been doing it for a really long time. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I mean, do you know anything about him? I've seen maybe a couple of shorts, but not really a, you know, a whole video. But I, I know of him. Yeah. And I've, uh, heard, I've heard other comedians talking about him. Right. Or referring to him as yeah. one of the... Influences. Yeah, yeah. And one of the best to ever do it. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious. I'm excited to watch this guy. Yeah. So without further ado, let's check out George Carlin's Seven Dirty Words. Let's get it. You know, that's the trouble with it, is trying to decide what to call these words, man. I'm trying to decide what to call this whole thing. You know, what are these words that I'm talking about? They're just words that we've decided, sort of decided, not to use all the time. That's about the only thing you can really say about them for sure. That they're just some words, not many either, just a few, that we've decided, well, we won't use them all the time. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's, and they're the only words that seem to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know? Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of words. All right, you can't yell it in the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? There are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. There are some words really? that we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes, okay, if you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay. It's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'd be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? It's kind of something nobody you Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. That's right. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> Please, Ma, give me a list, huh? All right, you're six years old now, and here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. <laughs> the funny thing is that list gets shorter as you get older. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like when you're five, you can't say anything. But no. like, but when you're 10, they let a few yeah. things slide. Yeah. And by the time you're 15, you know, that list is shorter and pretty shorter. short, yeah. you know? Yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. Yes. You didn't make that up. Somebody told you that shit. Yeah. They told you better, better not say that. So you got to... And you don't know what's going to be on their list. God, people's lists even change from day to day. Some people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, God damn, they make 27 words. <laughs> These are the same people two days later. Different list. <laughs> so you got to kind of watch out what you're going to believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. Well, I would like to know what year this is. <laughs> double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% dirty. You have words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, hey, let's go get some ass. <laughs> A little bit of a difference. 
bitch. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's the only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. Mm -hmm. Animals are fine on those two-way words. And that's it. That's what I was trying to find. The words that were always dirty, not just part of the time, but completely filled. One comes to mind. Well, in, in looking for these words, I kept finding new categories. We have so many ways of describing these dirty words. It's, well, we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty words. That seems a little strange to me. It seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words. They kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty, filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, coarse, in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, ass talk, body, naughty, saucy, raunchy, Wow. Rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, indecent, profane, obscene, off-color, <laughs> risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> <That's all Yeah>. <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete, but it was a start. And that pretty much holds yeah. true today. Yeah, those words. Shit, piss, fuck. Yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. Fart? No. And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very I kind of think of it, what, what the words that you can't say on the news. Yeah. Is, is uh, like more of what he's talking about. Yeah. Because obviously they say dirty words in movies, R-rated movies and all that stuff. But he said on TV. Yeah, on TV. Which must mean, and TV has changed. Yes. I see, uh, I see stuff on regular basic TV. They say curse words now. They say shit now. Yeah. They couldn't say it 30 years ago. Yeah. But, uh... Fuck, fart, I think. Maybe 30 years ago or 40 years ago. Well, you have, you, have you ever heard the word fart on the news? I have to imagine it's been said. I yeah, I ha yeah. Tits, you can't say tits on the news. No. Absolutely not. Uh, well... You uh, can't say twat on the news. No. That's, um... Now, obviously, the other ones, you yeah. know. But, yeah. What other ones? Fuck shit, uh, cocksucker. Piss? Piss? You can't say piss, yeah. Can't say piss. You can't say piss on the news. Yeah. You have to say urine or some shit. Yeah. Urinate. Urinate yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the words you can't say on the news. <laughs> Closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. <laughs> Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch box, pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, joint, gunnaker, dork, boom tang. <laughs> they had these worst questions? <laughs> Jeez, it's the test of time. Dingleberry. Dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry. Dingleberry, very, very popular word. And to my way of thinking, dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. It dingleberry sounds, sounds yeah. Christmassy to me, you know. Dingleberry, but it's the most gross Let's thing. Put one on the tree, Dad. <laughs> oh, shit, dingleberry. <sighs> It's so all of the words, thing. as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Now, motherfucker came off the list immediately. The first day, in fact, they had a call from an English language purist. Some guy had to, he had to talk, you know, he got on the phone. He tells me I have a duplicate on the list. I have a duplication. He says, motherfucker is a duplication of the word fuck, technically. Because fuck is the root form, motherfucker being derivative, therefore it constitutes duplication. Wow. I said, okay. hey, First word theory. motherfucker, how did you get my phone number anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, man, it may be derivative, but you still can't say it. 
You still can't say motherfucker on TV, can you? He said, no, but you can't say fucky, fucking, fuck all the fucker or fuckerino either. <laughs> Well, I said, yeah, that would crowd up my list some off. <laughs> so I just struck that motherfucker away. I struck it from the list. Motherfucker was gone. Now the list was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. <laughs> Does it sound like something's missing? Does it sound like an old friend is gone? <laughs> shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Remember the old rhythm? Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits. Cocksucker motherfucker tits. Cocksucker motherfucker tits. Cocksucker motherfucker tits. Now shit piss fuck on cocksucker tits. It falls apart. It isn't going anywhere. And by now, cocksucker is the dominant word on the list. That's the word for me. Previously, with motherfucker on the list, cocksucker was somewhat balanced out. They were the only multisyllabic words on the list. But now, cocksucker stands alone. Shit piss fuck on cocksucker tits. <laughs> And who knows, maybe it doesn't belong either. After all, motherfucker turned out to be a ringer. Let's take a look at cocksucker. <laughs> See if this one belongs. We'll divide the word cock and sucker from each other, those words. Sucker isn't dirty, sucker. That's, it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> but it isn't dirty. And wow. cock, that's not dirty all the time. That's one of those words that's only partly filthy. <laughs> Cock, if you're talking about the animal, it's perfectly all right. They used to read that to us from the Bible in third grade. And we would laugh now. Cockpit. Cock is in the Bible. Remember the first time you heard about a cock fight? What? No. <laughs> Even the word cocksucker itself has been twisted out of all of its original meaning. It's been distorted. For some reason now, cocksucker means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a great ending. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That's a good woman. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> Wow, George Carlin. What I, I would like to know what year this is. I don't see 1978. 1978? Yeah. Wow. He was ahead of his time. Or was he? I mean, I don't I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't I used to have guys like Richard Pryor in that's that true. time that's too. True. So That's true. Around that late 70s, early 80s yeah. wave of like dirtiness yeah. that kind of came about. You think about all the dirty m movies in the early 80s, like yeah. they, where it started to really get, you know. So yeah, I guess he came around that time. Uh, he's clever and funny. You know, yeah. he's, he's a funny dude. Yeah. Uh, the fact that he was performing such a bit, <laughs> it's just, how do you even think of that? How do you sit at home and think of, think of that? And not only that, he's so well rehearsed everything comes out with such a fluidity that's true it's it's actually quite beautiful the way he speaks and uses the language yeah there's a certain yeah. rhythm to there's it. a mastery of the language there yeah uh, super articulate yeah. He has a certain rhythm to his language and it's yeah it seems to be uh, almost a dance yeah <laughs> just oh, the yeah. way he talks yeah he's obviously very well prepared yeah and he's put a lot of thought into, into this very serious subject matter yeah and uh <laughs> And yeah, just the way he ended that, I thought was brilliant. Yeah. Wow. But George you know Carlin. what? He made a, and this is what, what's really great in my opinion about this is that he made a dirty s subject matter not dirty. Mm. Like he, he's giving you different ways of thinking yeah. about these things, these objects, right. these subjects, yeah. mm -hmm. and the content of his. Like he's saying a lot of dirty words, yeah. but the content of his comedy is not dirty. Right. He's just pinpointing the way we think about language. Yeah, uh, that's a very good point. Like he literally took the power of those words away. Yeah. And you just looked at them as just yeah. letters together, right. as just words. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if he had a, a, a deeper intent there, but the fact that he just, that's an example of how. You know, words are all about how you feel and how society feels about them. Yeah. But if you really break it down, they're just words. Yeah. That's a powerful thing. Yeah. Especially when you think about when someone says something, some really harsh words to you. It's right. about how you are t taking them. Yeah. 
But if you uh, if you really break it down and realize they're just words, they're just noises. Well, I, I would say there is a caveat there. There are certain words that would kind of trigger some memories or experiences in the past that of course. we should stay away from. And we should always be uh, sensitive to how others feel about it. You can't just throw around these words willy-nilly. Others, yes. Yes. But I'm talking about like your ability to not get worked up or agitated over someone yeah. saying words to you. Yeah. And uh, I thought the way he was able to literally suck the power out of those words, uh, that was a I was, I was I was impressive the way he did that, yeah. how he did that, and uh, you know it definitely took the sting out of a lot of those words and made it funny. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. George Carlin. Now you know, I will always remember cocksucker's a bad man <laughs> and a good one and a good one <laughs> <laughs> and always will be. Yes. <laughs> God bless you, women. Anyway, uh, that was my first time watching George Carlin. Yeah, uh, your first time. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And, yeah, I definitely want to want to see more, yeah, more about him, what yeah. he does because yeah. he seems to be on like genius level. Yeah, just by his delivery, yeah. subject matter, very clever. So yeah, I want I definitely want to see more from this guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was dope. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. If you have any suggestions, leave them down yeah, below. Leave them down below, and we will see y'all next see time. You next time.